What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Align in the Stars. I'm Jordan, and we are back today with another episode of Star Trek Resurgence. And I gotta say, I am excited to play today. I have been waiting. Um, you know, schedule's busy. Uh, work full-time, and then come home and do this full-time. Uh, usually I'm building models or editing, and don't really have a whole lot of time for video games. And so I really do enjoy and look forward to playing this, these games and playing this, and uh, this one definitely had me thinking all week. Um, as a Star Trek fan, you know, one of the things that gets me is the attention to detail. Um, you know, the Captain's Ready Room looks like a Captain's Ready Room. You know, he's got <laughs> the knickknacks up on the wall, and if you look, I think that might be the same shell, just a smaller one that you see in Picard's office and in Picard's ready room. That's kind of funny. Uh, he's into trains, and he's got a bunch of geodes and stuff like that, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, oh, look, he graduated when the uh, insignias were different. Yeah, that would make sense. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's the attention to detail. Um, you know, the all cars and the scaling of the rooms and just everything. It's its just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful Star Trek game. And I'm really excited to keep playing and check out the story. Now, a couple things. I do recognize the logo uh, was that they have for this game, the symbol that sits in the middle of the Starfleet Delta. I'm not going to spoil anything, but if that's what I think it is, this is going to be a very interesting story. So go ahead and follow our captain here. He's been waiting in the hallway for me for a while. How interesting. His ready room is out the hallway. What do we got going on over here? We got turbo lift. Yeah, I know, captain. Don't worry. Another turbo lift. Oh, this is so cool. I just be able to walk around a Starfleet ship. Ugh, man. Oh, man. Look at the bridge. How cool. Ah, two chairs. A la Voyager. Very cool. And... Everyone, if I could have your attention for a moment. I'd like to... The person staring off in the background there. Our new first officer. Some quick introductions. This is Lieutenant Handar, our helmsman. Bajoran. One of the best in the business. Huh. One of? What he lacks in humility, he more than makes up for in ability. Huh. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Likewise. Next, we have Commander Westbrook, our chief science officer. Another full leaf commander. On council on a regular basis. Pleasure. Hmm. Commander Rydak, it is such an honor to meet you. This is our tactical officer, Lieutenant Bedrosian. We've been looking forward to meeting you for about as long as I can remember. <laughs> I've been following your career for quite some time. Weird. And I look forward to learning as much as I can from you. Uh, honor is mine? If anything, the honor is mine. Well, I have to admit, one of Personal the reasons I've followed your career is because you're part Kobliad. Because of what you've overcome. Starfleet stands up for people who can't defend themselves. And you were one of those people once. But since then, you've done so much to protect others who need it. I really admire that. Hmm. So, you've been something of an inspiration to me. Well. Not that I've done anything close to what you've done, hmm. but you definitely set a standard to strive for. I'm glad I inspire you. You really do know a thing or two about me. I'm glad I could inspire you, but it's important to chart your own path. Thanks. You can count on it. Hmm. And then, of course, you've already met Commander Ermine. God. Please do everything you can to make Commander Rydeck feel at home here. The person's still staring off into space the back there. <laughs> I have an urgent meeting with the Starbase Commander to get our authorization to get underway. If they drag their feet any longer, we won't make our rendezvous. The bridge is yours. Hmm. Let's take a look around before we sit down. I think ah, we could talk to people. Cool. Operations, staffing, supplies. There's a lot to keep track of on a starship. 
good thing we have Commander Ermont. Talking to yourself? Huh. The helm. The Resolute is a refitted Centaur class, meaning it's capable of quick maneuvers. That's right. Can't wait to see what she can do. Yeah, it's a pretty capable ship, actually. Nothing for... Huh. Science. Science station. The Resolute is a science vessel, primarily. Might explain Commander Westbrook's attitude. I'll have to speak with him later. What attitude? A fangirl here. What do we got? Master Systems Display. So many decks. Full of crew that are now my responsibility. Hmm. Tactical. I do like the, uh, the next gen sort of layout, like where it's kind of like a, you know, you got the horseshoe sort of style. It's cool. Tactical station. Hopefully, a diplomatic mission won't require we use our weapons much. Mm. If it comes to that, we'll be ready. This is a video game, bro. We're using our weapons. All right, let's sit in the chair. This is my chair. The first officer seat. My seat. Right now, though, I need to fill in for Captain Solano. It's time. Begin command. Mm. Commander, Chief Engineer Chovak needs to lower the structural integrity field. He sent a crew out to recalibrate the emitters in response to the danger posed by the storm. Mm. We just need your go-ahead. Permission granted. Lowering structural integrity field now. Nice, and I bet you're about to cut to our engineers. Diaz. Condition blue. Condition blue. Oh, that would make sense. Cool. Oh, man, yep. The storm is getting worse. Looks like they turned off the SIF. Great. Let's get to that emitter. Oh, man. I, I am sorry, but would you just look at that for a second? Like, literally. Oh. So cool. <laughs> oh, my God. Walking underneath the Every hall. time we're out here, I half expect to see her in pieces again. She's still got some scars on her. Wow. It adds character. When I joined Starfleet, all I wanted was a ride out of town. But this isn't exactly how I pictured it. <laughs> on the outside of the ship? <laughs> no. Man. Sometimes it feels like we're just part of the machinery. Don't you want more than that? I mean, Starfleet is noble and all, but it's still a machine. Uh, we're more than a that. massive, I massive am machine. More than that. I am more than that. And so are you. You wanted to get away. I enlisted because I didn't want to wait years just to get out and see the galaxy. So cool. I wanted to go somewhere, see new worlds, look up at a sky no one's ever seen before. Just because I'm cranking a hyperspanner up in a Jeffrey's tube today doesn't mean that's all I'll ever be. That's right. What you do doesn't define you. Diaz to Commander Chovak. That's who you are. We are at the SIF emitter. Acknowledged. You may proceed with the recalibration. I wonder if it's one of those manual latches like we saw in uh, First Contact. Nope. Okay. Looks like a new type of minigame. Huh. All the classic tools. Alright, the spanner. Or the calibration tool, okay. Beginning recalibration. Okay, so tune the nodes to the center of the uh, of the circular indicators. So Oh, I see. Careful. Oh. Too much action and harmonics will deflect the alignment. Oh, that's hard. Oh, 
Come on. Nice. Okay. Looks good. That wasn't so hard. Okay. Sure, bro. Uh. Commander Westbrook, right? Chief Science Officer. You remembered my name and my rank. Oh my Impressive. god. Impressive. Yes, I am the Chief Science Officer. And I have the dubious honor of being the most senior officer on this bridge. I know this ship inside and out. <laughs> so you think you're supposed to be the XO. Alright, that's impressive. What a very impressive list of credentials. Hmm. This is a research and discovery ship, hmm. first and foremost. Now with a former tactical officer as its new first officer. I'm curious, though. A Kobliad, or... Half in your case mm -hmm. is an odd choice for first officer, given your vulnerable condition and all. But if, as an example, Bro. we found ourselves in a hostile situation and you were suddenly incapacitated because you needed an infusion, what would happen then? Uh, none of your damn business, bro. You'd leave Captain Solano without an XO. You seem f more than Granted, capable. That would be a worst case scenario. Thanks for your concern, dude. Right. Not outside the realm of possibility. I do not like you. That's very kind of you to be concerned about my well-being. But you don't need to trouble yourself on my account. I'll be fine. That's right. Well, I wouldn't say I was concerned. Just curious, that's all. You're a dick. Listen, can I be blunt, Commander? No. I see no reason to stop now. Huh. Commander Sutherland, your predecessor, was one of the best first officers in all of Starfleet. His record was impeccable, and his reputation was without equal. I mean no disrespect, but the shoes you're stepping into are almost impossible to fill. He was loved by the crew, and he was one of my closest friends. I could never I can only fill that you'll live his up shoes. Expectations. I don't think I could ever replace Commander Sutherland, and it would be a mistake to even try. In your shoes, Seeing as Captain bro. Solano is on the star base, let me give you an update on this ion storm we're flying into. Dick. It's unusual, unlike anything I've ever seen. At the moment, I can't tell you if the Resolute will shrug it off or if we're putting ourselves at risk. However, if we learn more about its patterns, its nature, hey, bro. We can come up with a science. Pay attention. Just a moment. Uh oh. Ion storm's coming. We've got a massive energy wave inbound on screen. Oh man. Tracing its trajectory. Starbase docking clamps are holding. The storm's emissions are fluctuating, coming in waves. And if my projections are right, we're about to get hit by a wide band burst of ionic energy, like a tsunami. Oh my goodness. I'm reading power up. Red alert. Red alert. Bye. Evacuating main gangway and retracting. Putting sensor visualization on screen. With the structural integrity field shut down, we can't take a direct hit. Time to impact. One minute. Shield systems are severely impacted. Oh, man. We have limited protection. I need every available solution. What are our options? We can weaken the impact of the storm with a deflector pulse. There's a better way. I'm sending all auxiliary power to the deflector dish. Send the aux power to the shield. We can't reactivate the entire shield bubble, but it's a directional threat. So we can orient all we have towards the wave. You have to believe me. Okay. We only get one shot at this. We can't afford to get it wrong. Ah, <sighs> deflector plus, pulse. We need to send power to our shields. Commander Westbrook, use the deflector dish. Already working on it. Optimal timing displayed. It's going to be tight. Good. Send the pulse on my command. Now. Oh, that was too early. We're... <laughs> Commander Westbrook, use the deflector dish. Already working on it. Optimal timing displayed. Okay. It's going to be tight. Good. Send the pulse on my command. Now. We got it. 
Nice. This is it. All hands, brace for impact. Oh boy. Supercharge the plasma, forcing it to backflush through the system and creating a dangerous imbalance. Blow out every primary system on the ship. Just tell us what you need us. I need you to traverse the hull to the access port to recalibrate the port nacelle plasma regulator. Oh my goodness. Huh. I think I made the right call there, though. First access point. Understood. Do you see the override for the level one failsafe circuits? There we go. Sweet. Affirmative. Engage the Man, override. so authentic. It should allow us to stop the EPS flow to the warp engine without triggering an automatic core shutdown. Okay. Oh, man. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, man. This is so cool. I'm sorry, but, like, this weird little thing that we have to do <laughs> all the little button pushings and all that is just so fun this is great we need to route the signals so they don't interfere with each other Ooh, mini game all right so we're gonna put this up no not a mini game okay ah oh, switching isolinear chips oh man this is so cool Ah, uh, Kidme is blown, having his mind blown right now. Are temporarily disabled. Moving on to the EPS regulator. Heads up, Carter. What is that? Ooh. What if the discharge has coalesced? It's coming right toward us. I'm gonna try to disrupt it with my phaser. Use triangle to equip phaser, L2 to aim, and R2 to fire. Okay. Nice. So we gotta climb up the pylon. Not that there's really an up, but huh. you know. Yeah. You use the phaser to clear a path. Oh man, this is cool. Dude, it's right there, bro. Come on, not not cool. So took most of it. Snuck up on me. Can't damage the suit. Energy dampening is down to sixty percent. Oh, this is kind of intense. Oh, even the sound is accurate. We're almost to the regulator. Dope. Okay. That was tough. We're at the regulator. Opening the access panel. Well, although a phaser is also now a tool. the EPS flow to the port to cell, we have little time before it causes an overload in the engine. You must work efficiently. Got it. Oh, uh, <laughs> cool. So, left stick over, R2. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know why this is so satisfying. I really don't. Really don't. Okay. So. So we need to grab. 
I'm gonna go to grab that control. I see. EPS lines to the fourth warp engine are back in balance. Wow, I just guessed. Once I cycle huh. the manifold nozzles too. Nice. Ooh. Well that's not good. Bruh. Oh my god. Holy crap. Get down. Oh. Dears to bridge. We just lost the docking clamp. You think? We've got a lot of debris coming down. All vibrations too. We can't finish the EPS regulation in these conditions. Please advise. We have to release the ship from that other docking clamp or the hull will be ripped apart. There's a problem. Uh. The clamps are supposed to disengage automatically in an emergency, but it's not working. Not working? What are our options? The docking clamps are fitted with exploding bolts for an emergency release. We've got crew out there. That'd be like setting off a bomb next to them. Maybe there's another way. Starbase is hailing us. Put him through. Resolute, the remaining mooring arm is failing. You need to disengage from the Starbase now. The damage to the station will be catastrophic. Crew is out there. We have crew outside and are looking for we the safest way. We have people on this station. If that mooring arm breaks, we could lose dozens of crew. Commander, hear me out. Reverse the polarity of the hull, which theoretically will repel the docking clamps and repel the engineering crew right off the hull into the storm. This is Captain Solano. Put me on screen. Go ahead. Captain, we have a situation. Commander, what are you doing? Blow the bolts on the docking clamp. The captain doesn't know the whole story. I'm giving you an order. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Disengaging the clamps. They're gonna get hammered with debris out there. The captain made himself quite clear. That's right. Reverse the polarity. There is protocol. And there are lives. We're going to blow the bolts. Starbase, stand by. We'll warn our crew to take cover. Get it done, Rydek. Hope this is the right call. Man, I get like Repair chills over here. It's very strange. Jar Rydek. Be advised, you have more micro debris incoming. Find cover. Cover? Nilly, get into the access panel. It's armored with uranium. Well, well, what about you? Well, yeah. Better run, bruh. Carter, maybe we can both fit behind this. There's no way. Grab my own. We're not gonna jack and rose this thing here. Come on. Oh my god. They blow the other doggy clamp. Hurry. Oh, come on. Nice. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Oh. Ooh. One of those will end your day. Is reaching critical condition. We are moments from primary system failure. I got it. Come on, let's do this. Come on. It actually feels like it's being tough to push. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Diaz. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Not good. I got you. Petty officer Ensilar's hurt and unconscious. I'm gonna have to 
tower back to the airlock. Mr. Diaz, the situation has changed, and you are at risk of triggering a substantial electromagnetic arc if you approach the main hull the way you came. Oh, man. But Commander, the way we came is the nearest airlock. There is an auxiliary hatch near you on the far end of the pylon. You must bring Miss Edsilar there to access the interior. <sighs> Roger that. Go in there now. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This is rightly intense. This is so cool. Come on. Oh my god. I'm at the auxiliary hatch. Are we about to go into the nacelle? Oh. Nice. Come on. Go, 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 go. What? Let me save your neck this time. Come on. Uh, no time to fight me on this. No way, you first. Not on your life. Let's not let it come down to that. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. Diaz. Oh man. We made it. Oh. Chills. Wow. They're safe. Bringing the Sith fully online. Do it. Uh huh. Wow. Well, on that note, my friends, that was intense. Holy crap. That was. A right Star Trek episode, so to say. And uh, I currently have chills. Wow. Uh, if you guys could only see the goosebumps on my arm. You guys normally can see my arms, but you can't today. So, wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This is a lot of fun. So, man, I am so glad we're playing this game. That's all I got to say about that. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, tips, tricks, please leave them down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. And my friends, until we see each other again, I hope you all have a wonderful day in this beautiful world, wherever you happen to be. And just remember to always live long and prosper.